So I'm on YouTube, basically I was just Googling firmware updates for my Canon 60D and I had version 1.1.0. I installed 1.1.1 and while looking for that firmware, I came across Magic Lantern by accident. I had never ever ever heard of it till recently and it said you needed version 1.1.0 but if you look at the date, that was like, gah, nine months ago. This year is almost over with. And now you can actually use version 1.1.1, which is what I updated to. And like I said, while looking for firmware updates, I found this Magic Lantern firmware. I was like, what the heck is it? What does it do? Um, I followed this guy's video step by step. Boo hoo, I am sad. Boo hoo, I'm sad. <laughs> That's creative. I like that. Um, followed his video, and it was super easy to follow, nice and slow. Uh, unlike my videos that are really, really fast. And here we're here at the camera. Let me get this. Alright, so this is pretty freaking sweet. I don't know what this is, but I'm going to make a test video and play with it. Basically, you just use the little scroll wheel up here. And you choose, like, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, it says recording may stop, so I'm guessing, like, I'm changing the quality and making it better. The time indicator, this is freaking sweet. Because the camera does not... Uh, keep recording. Once you hit 11 minutes, you've reached a 4 megabyte or 4 gigabyte file, and you have to start recording again. It automatically cuts it off. So, what, while I'm recording, I keep the screen facing toward me, even though I'm using EOS Utility to see what the camera's seeing. That way, I know exactly when it stops. This is freaking sweet. I can actually set it to auto start recording once the 4 gig file hits. That is amazing. Um. Custom, standby, visible, or audible. Red. Beeps, start, stop. Huh. Movie key, default, use for recording. Hint, wired, remote. Uh, for, forced live view, start. Always use live view with manual focus. Always off, start. Shutter lock. Lock shutter into movie mode, change. From Expo only. I don't know what these are. HDR video. Alternate side between frames. Flickers while recording. Image effects. Negative. I guess this will take me back. Get get out get get out of here. How do I go back? Okay. Then there's like all these other ones too. Zebras. Show overexposed or unexposed areas. Is disabled for current shooting mode. Focus peak. Magic zoom. Dude. This freaking. Whoa. <laughs> uh, go back. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't want to break it. Uh, ISO. Oh, cool. So, use the jog dial. Neato. Freaking neat. Let's go down to auto. Whoa, okay. Let's get out of here. Let's go back to what? I am a noob, so I choose everything auto. I want to go back to auto. Jesus. <laughs> I want to go back to auto. Um... Whatever. I wanted to go back to auto though. I'll just reset the settings. ISO. That's cool. Shutter. Don't know what that does. Doesn't do anything. Aperture. The heck is aperture? This is why I just use everything auto. Aperture. Picture style. 
Can I just press on it? I don't know. I don't want to make this video too long, but tap, trap, focus. Takes a picture when the subject comes into focus. Ooh. Display. I, I did that. I clicked on it and don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. Trust me. Just don't do it. That's about it. I'm done. This is freaking sweet though. My camera. Yeah. Oh man.